Yo boys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Other Foot Market. I have an afternoon upload for you guys today. I hope everybody's ready for it. It's going to be a video on icon trading, man. I can't even explain to you guys how many people uh, said, Nick, we need another icon trading video. And I said, you know what? All right, you know what? We're going to just make this into kind of a long going series um, on my channel, which is just going to happen probably weekly or every other weekly. I think everybody wants more insight into icons. Uh, and things like that. I did a video on how to trade with icons number one. You guys smashed like over a thousand likes. You guys want 30,000 plus views on the video. So you say, you know what? Not because of the views, but because of the actual engagement. You guys seem to really like the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to give you guys some more insight on how icons work and, and what the fluctuations are and things like that. If you guys enjoyed the video today, give me a thumbs up. I'm, I'm going to try my best today to give you guys some more information on how icons work, how you guys can make a lot of coins on them. Uh, and that's currently what I am doing right now. So today's focus on icons, right? We're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about panic with icons, and then we're going to talk about fresh icons. I'm going to talk about two things with you guys that are fundamentals of icon trading. Are there ways that you guys can stretch extra coins and make a lot of coins? If you guys are pumped for the video, man, just let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments as well. I want to hear from you guys because I look there all the time. Let me know like how you guys are doing with icons. Are you guys making a lot of coins? Are you guys losing coins? Are you getting screwed by the tax? Um, give me give me everything, right? Like, give me all the information. So uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about to start off the video today, and, and this is going to be very funny. You guys are going to laugh at this, right? So uh, yesterday we got an icon SBC. Now I'm going to do a video preparing for this in the future. I didn't think there was actually going to be icon SBCs, but there are. Um, so what happened was it was really funny. If you got onto the market yesterday, people panic sold icons. They got panic sold yesterday. Uh, icons literally got panic sold yesterday. It was the funniest thing ever um, because you know why, right? So this SBC, I, I did a. If you guys didn't check out the video for this morning, I did a very good video with Foot Economist. This SBC boys is nine hundred thousand coins, and you're getting icons that are about seven hundred k or less from it. But what it did was. For some reason, man, it made everybody panic on the market. Like everybody decided to panic uh, and everybody sold their icons cheap. It was actually hysterical. Um, so yesterday I was able to go pick up some really good deals. So I spent my day yesterday uh, trading with icons and getting some really, 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 really good deals. Um, and, and that's just, it, it's a work of how funny it is, right? Because essentially when that icon SBC comes out, there's no reason for panic. There's no reason. Um, there's absolutely no reason. Now, I tweeted out a few of the deals. I don't have them here. I should have saved them for the video today. I should have, I should have cleared them. What I'm going to do is I'll walk you guys through Footpin and show you guys some of the trends of what happened to some of these cards. So this 89 Blanc, right? Icon trading is all about familiarization with prices, learning prices, knowing what they sell at, knowing why they sell at a certain price. And that's the reason for it. So 89 Blanc, uh, yes, he's been selling about 815 to 830, right? Yesterday, I got a fresh one during when this SBC dropped. I don't know if it even shows. Uh, I got a fresh one yesterday for about 745,000 coins. I sold it for 817 last night. Things like that were happening on the market yesterday. And this is not me flexing my deals. This is me trying to explain to you guys what I'm doing here. So Stoikov, right? 92 striker. Uh, this is the prime version of him. I picked him up for 1.8 million coins fresh last night. I already sold him for 1937. Uh, let me see if I get this proof for you guys real quick. Because I have it on my phone. I know a lot of you guys want to want the proof. So this is the Stoikov. This is the, you guys can see this is my mobile app. Can you guys see that? Ah, there we go. 1937, right? So you guys can see that. And I bought him at 1.8 flat. So that was an example of another player that was just getting panic sold. And the biggest thing I can tell you guys with icon trading and the ways that you guys can make coins with icons is take part in the panic. If you guys see icons down like 200 or 300K that hour, you guys got to go get them because it's it's something that icons are the most in-demand cards in FIFA and they always rise back. They link everybody. They have Superman stats. They're crazy, right? Like they, they, they have stats that play better than the cards, right? Like they in-game, these cards all play amazing. And you guys know that. So anytime we do get an SPC like that, when Scream's coming up, because Scream is coming up this week, I'm not saying there's going to be a market crash. What I'm saying is that you have a very big potential uh, that there's going to be more panic. Every time there's a promo, every time there's a, a release, I always see panic. I see it every single time. So the best thing I can tell you guys to do when you guys see these peri uh, periods of panic is making a concept squad. I talked about this in the first time, uh, the first episode of the Icon Trading. And I'm going to make a playlist for you guys. Um, I'm going to make a playlist for you guys so you guys can see uh, everything uh, that I'm going through and, and talking about. But uh, 
I, I have concept squads. And the, the, the beauty about concept squads is instead of slowly moving back and forth from players in the market, what you guys can do is you guys can just quickly go over and say, hey, is there a good price there? No, there's not, right? Icon is icon trading is all about flipping. It's all about quick flipping. Uh, and it's always it's all about knowing the actual sell points of players. So what you'll see me doing, right, is look at my watch list right now, right? I have four players on my watch list, and I'm actually really pissed off because I'm going to talk about this in the next part of my video, right? So I have four players on my watch list that I'm, I'm always watching players. And this is something where if you guys are very busy, if you guys work jobs, if you guys are in school, you guys should add these players to your watch list so you can get sell points. So you learn where a card is selling at at a given time. It's the best way to know when cards are selling rather than flipping. I know a lot of you guys just pop up flipping and you guys type in your players and you say, you know what, you know, let me go look at Del Piero. Del Piero 87 is a card I'm watching right now and I'll show you guys why I'm watching him. Uh, you know, a lot of people just like to type up flipping and say, hey, you know what? Oh, oh, he sells at 104.3, all right? Well, does he sell at 104.3? Because I'm watching him right now sell at 107. So that's something that I would I would keep in mind as a player uh, a player who likes to trade, right? So the thing that I'm going to show you guys right now and start to talk about, I'm just going to start to talk about some things with icons so you guys can see where I'm speaking about and, and what I'm thinking, right? So I picked up a Del Piero this morning at 1010. So that's a very good price. Uh, it's a, No, no, it's not a very good price. It's an okay price for Del Piero. Um, at the price that I'm trying to sell him at right now, after EA tax, I will make 15,000 coins uh, on this card just by knowing the price of it. Now, I would not have bought this card if it was not fresh. If this card was not fresh, I would not have bought this card in a million years. Even though he's selling at 107, I still would have not bought the card because the margin there is too tight. I originally bought the card at 101 when he was 103, and I was trying to sell higher at 107 fresh. Um, now, that is gonna bite me in the butt because I now have mine listed as almost the cheapest card and it's a fresh attacker. That's not a card that gets packed too often. Here is the importance of fresh cards. I know you guys sit here and say, all right, Nick, what is a fresh card? A fresh card is this right here, a card that has no games played, nothing like that. They are very important with Icon Market because they don't get packed a lot. It, a lot of pro players like to pick up fresh cards for their ultimate teams. And so what that results in is that a lot of them will pay extra for the card. Here's a, uh, what, what else can I give you guys an example for? I sold a, tri let me, I'm just going to give you guys examples of fresh cards in action off the top of my head. I sold a fresh Trezeguet yesterday for 1.165 uh, when he was 1.1 flat. So I got somebody to pay 60,000 coins extra for a brand new card. And the reason for this is, and you guys can see this, this guy has his listed higher. Fresh attackers are something that are just key to a lot of people's, Teams and things like that. People like to have their own card and their own uh, play. So I I understand that. That's why I understand. Like I don't think it's a stupid thing. I think it's right. I think it. I think it, it makes sense. That Maradona right there, right? So I picked up. If you guys go look on Flippin, I picked up this. I picked this up in this Maradona. It was up for two minutes on the market. Uh, I picked him up at one four three. If you guys look right now, he's about one five one, and he's been on about one five. So at this margin, right? With Maradona being a, with me getting him at 143 and with him being uh, a um, a card that's 151, if you get, if you sell a card at uh, 1.5, you get taxed 75,000 coins. That's the wrong Maradona. <laughs> you get taxed 75,000 coins, guys, if you, uh, if you buy, if you sell a card at 1.5. So keep that in mind. 75,000 coins is what you get taxed if you sell a card uh, at that price. So uh, I would have to sell this card for buying it at 143 to make coins on it. I would have to sell this card over 1.505, right? I think 1.0, 1.505. Yeah, over 1.505, I would have to sell this card. Now, a card like Meradona, uh, Pele, um, Figo, uh, Cruyff, Best, all those kind of players, if you pick up those players fresh, they sell a lot more. They're, they, they, it's, it's a different whole ball game. When you guys, because these cards don't get packed much at all. So if you get one of these cards fresh, you should be able to sell this for like 50 to 100K more. And that's why you see me right now. I actually have the only, I actually have an advantage with Maradona at the minute, if you guys can see, is that I have the only fresh one on the market. So my current Maradona is the only one on the market. It's simply the only one. Um, and that is a, that's big in significance because there's no other competitor right now. There's no, there's nobody else who has a fresh card on the market. Um, and the cheapest is one five one. So mine's actually sitting pretty, pretty good right now. I guarantee if I, if I listed my Metadona up at 1.5, it 1.55, it would insta sell and I would make 40,000 coins. But the deal with icons is patience, right? It's all about patience, man. If you guys could have the patience and the time of day to hold cards, and just sit there and wait for your deals and wait for them to sell, you guys will make so many extra coins. The key, and, and my biggest 
uh, and my biggest tip to icon trading is the idea of learning a fluctuation of a player um, and the the significance of being able to be patient. If you guys can be patient with icons, I'm telling you, everybody watching this video right now, you guys will all make tons of coins. If you can just be patient, you have to learn the art of not to panic. And trust me, I know that is very hard. I started off trading six years ago in FIFA. And whenever there was a freaking market crash or promo packs, I would sell my whole team and I would buy it back cheaper every single time. And I never learned because I was a kid. So I'm trying to help you guys understand that cards rebound, right? Cards like these car kind of cards always are going to come back up. Um, they're always going to get back in price because they're very high in demand. That's that's the deal with high in demand cards, man. When Ronaldo crashes, Ronaldo's going to come right back up. So that's something that I think you guys got to understand as just general traders and things like that is that, look, I, I know you guys are not all trading with prime icons. I get that. You guys can trade a ton, by the way. I don't know if you guys realize you guys can trade a ton uh, with with baby icons before the icon SBC, which actually let's check. A, let's take a look at that while we're, while we're on the topic of icons today before the icon SBC uh, Icons were let me go check this out. So before the icon SBC icons were about 200k. They're now 460k Which is just stupid people are doing the SBC for 460,000 coins, which is dumb um, but what I wanted to tell you guys was before the icon SBC I was even me, guys, and I have like a lot of coins right now. I've been doing really well with trading. Even me, I was trading with this Overmars, and I was buying him at 320 and selling him at 360. Even when he was 320, right, this Overmars, he had bins at 330 and 340. I was buying him fresh at 320. I was waiting a few hours, and then at night, there was always a point where Overmars got up to 360, 370, and that's when I would list. And mine would sell very quickly because mine was a, the cheapest card on the market, and mine was fresh. So what you guys can use fresh cards in your... In your, you can use them in your advantage because they will actually sell. If you have a card that's cheapest on the market and it's fresh, I, I'll tell you there's a very good shot it sells. Um, and that's just the nature of how fresh cards work and, and, and how I see it is that if your card is fresh, you have a very, very likelihood to sell. What I would tell you is that you guys should watch different kind of cards uh, that are fresh. Some will sell a lot more than others. Uh, I've, had, I've, I've seen strikers the most sell fresh uh, and guys like best. And guys like that. Now, I have a guy, a Soul Campbell here, right? I bought this for seven seventy. Now, that's a good price in general for the Prime. The Prime is usually about eight twenty. Uh, now, what I'll tell you is that Prime defenders don't sell for that much more. Just keep that in mind. Prime defenders do not sell for that much more. And I want you guys to all know that because it's an important thing to know. They just simply don't sell for that much more. And I, I, and I, I, I need you guys to understand that. The only ones that will sell for more... Uh, in my experience is Zanetti and Maldini and uh, not only it's it would be Maldini and uh, I want to see if this sells actually this one for 1.7 on bid last night it would be Maldini and Ferdinand these two seem to sell a lot um, I, I, I flip Rio I buy Rio at 1.1 and I sell him at 1.18 fresh so I make like 30k a card every time I flip him but the the main catalyst of being uh, prone to selling for more via a fresh card is like Shevchenko um, these kind of players sell for a lot more. Uh, and that's just a simple, that's just a simple reality of it. Shevchenko, Clivert, um, Miroslav Klosa, any, any attacker boys, any attacker will sell for more fresh. And it's just how the cards work. Um, again, you guys can see me like I'm adding cards to my watch list like a crazy person, right? I, this is what I do when I have time on FIFA and when I have time to get on and trade, I will just add a million cards to my watch list. Even cards that I can't even afford, like, uh, Hullet, right? If Hullet's high one hour, like Hullet was like, I think Hullet was like 4.6 last night. I added it to my watches. It didn't sell. But I'm always trying to get price price points and trying to figure out where cards sell at, where cards do not sell at. For me, that's like ultra important like to see if a card does sell at a given hour um, or something like that. And for me, guys, like that is very... Guys, for me, that is very, very important. Like this idea of constantly adding cards to your watch list um, and things like that. Uh, and, and guys, look, I, I will tell you like pick... If you have a lot of coins or if you don't have a lot of coins, just pick cards in your window of price range. Like if you have a million coins, I wouldn't only be trading with Prime Seedorf uh, or Prime Blanc, cards that are a million. I would be trading with multiple cards that are three, four hundred, five hundred thousand 500,000 coin card icons. Did I say that right? Card, coin icon. <laughs> Anyways, I, I would figure I wouldn't always go all in with icons. You guys can see like I'm five mil. I'll get I'll get a hullet if there's a good deal on a hullet. But I'm not going to force it. Uh, and I'm always going to be trading with multiple Prime icons probably. Um, in the range in the different ranges Prime icons are in my eyes the best cards to be selling uh, If you have the coins prime icons are the ones that are the most in demand icons out of all of them 
So that's just something that I would, I'm, I'm just trying to give you guys tips on icons that I can give you. Um, no, but icons look are all about fluctuations, man. Like they, they really are. I, w I, I, th I would wonder if, I would wonder if uh, you guys could see this right now, if I could show you guys on flipping, because uh, I flipped this Stoikov last night. Um, not that I slipped the 92, which I still think this card is overpriced. So yeah, I mean, I saw him at 1.8 yesterday flat, and he was 2.07 on Sunday. So I said, you know what, this definitely, it was selling on Sunday at that price, so I went for it. Um, and you guys can see, he's rising really nicely right now. This is probably, the, I think this is right here, this is the this is the point last night where I picked him up at. When he was 1.84, there was one up at 1.8, 1.8, uh, there was one up at that at that 1.8 flat price. Um, another one that I'll show you guys that I flipped last night is I sold Figo's 90 for about 1.09, I think. I think 1.09, and right now he's about 1.035. So I bought him at 1.02 flat. 102 flat what did i buy him at 101 i gotta figure this out for you guys i bought him at oh i bought him at 103 and i also bought him at non-fresh so that was a tight margin and that's the deal with icons man sometimes with icon trading you're gonna have to be really greedy guys and i'm trying to give you guys a heads up sometimes cards are gonna look you don't know how many times i look at cards and they almost look so good but the margin is just too tight so that's another thing i was going to tell you guys is like you have to be very, very patient, boys, with uh, the way you guys trade with icons because a good deal, you have to understand that at 1 million coins, EA tax is 50,000 coins. At 1.5 million, it's 75. At 2 million, it's 100,000. Uh, at 2.5, it's 125K. At 3, it's 150K. So once you start trading with icons that are really high up, yes, the fluctuations are bigger. However, there's a lot of freaking tax. Uh, so that's something that I think a lot of you guys got to keep in mind as you are doing your trading. Uh, with icons, is that a good deal on Skullzy? So the the margins at the top top of the game are massive. The margins are crazy, but there is a massive EA tax to kind of kick you in the butt and uh, <laughs> and let you know where you're at in terms of uh, selling cards. I'm actually really surprised while I'm making this video that Maradona or Del Piero hasn't sold uh, because mine are relatively cheaper and they're fresh. They're not the cheapest, but it's always important when you have a fresh card, never have it be the cheapest. You always want it to be a little bit overpriced because I'm telling you right now, especially attacking wise, people will pay the extra amount for your card. It's just a, it's a thing of nature and it will be a thing. Um, so yeah, boys, this has been the video on icons today. A lot of people have been asking me in terms of where do I think icons will go in the next uh, time period. I think primes will continue to rise until Black Friday, uh, which is like another month. I think you're going to see a lot of primes keep going up because people are going to get more coins and more coins. I think you'll see babies go up another another time this weekend. I think they go up one more time um, in my eyes. And then I think you see people move a lot. A lot of people move from babies to middles. Um, icons are very steady, man. Icons don't really drop until past like team of the year. So icons are very good to trade with because they never really crash that much. And when they do crash, the odds are that you should be buying them when they do crash. Um, so yeah, boys, that's probably what I would recommend to a lot of you guys who are trading with icons and doing the whole, the whole route of icon trading and, and that good thing. Just learn price points. Um, have the confidence and know know what cards you're trading with and know if they're fresh Know if you're buying a card or you pack a card if you could sell it a little bit more because it is fresh and do that kind of thing guys And that's probably what I would do in my recommendation for icons guys. This has been how to trade with icons number two I hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you guys want another video if you guys want these weekly or every other weekly Let me know I can bring this to you guys I really enjoy talking about icons and I can do some more live icon trading with you guys if you want So you guys can watch it a little bit more I do it a lot of my live streams But if you guys want to see more of the YouTube videos of it I can do that so easily for you beautiful people. Thank you guys for watching the video today. You guys are much appreciated. Um, and yes, boys, I will see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.